Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Grand Canyon Beanie, which you can see here in the photo in front of you as well. If you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you'll find the link to the free written pattern as well as many more photos there for you. I have my sample one done here. This is a very highly textured beanie. This crochet beanie is number four in the wonderful hat crochet along which I'm hosting on richtexturescrochet.com so if you haven't uh, heard of it or seen the other beanies head on over there and check them all out they are all uh, absolutely wonderful they each uh, feature an optional pom-pom the hats look both great without or with one uh, for the hat here in front of you i am using the lion brand woolies yarn in the color antler for the video tutorial today i'm going to be using a little bit of this canyon sunset color uh, you're going to need one ball. It's a worsted weight wool acrylic blend. Uh, you need about 200 yards in case you are wanting to substitute it. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. And again, links for both of these items can be found in the description of this video. The beanie is worked from the bottom up. And later on in the video, I will provide you with the stitch multiples in order to change the size of your beanie. The one that I have here fits an adult woman's head. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Uh, there's lots of other crochet hats and uh, stitch tutorials and other crochet patterns here as well for you to view. The brim of our hat today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain needs to be 10 chain stitches. Once you've worked your foundation chain, you'll begin row one by working a slip stitch in the second chain from your hook and then in each chain all the way across. If uh, you are not a fan of slip stitches, that's okay. You can substitute or change these stitches to either a single crochet or a half double crochet, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to slip stitch across starting in the second chain and then each across you're going to have a total of nine stitches at the end of row one when you come to the end of your foundation chain chain one and turn your work we're now going to continue working rows of slip stitches this time working in the back loop only so taking a look at the top of your stitch you see this nice v the back loop only is the horizontal bar that's furthest away from you. So you're going to work in that, insert your hook in that stitch in that uh, space only, and then just slip stitch all the way across. This is going to create your ribbing effect for the hat brim. When you come to the end, chain one, turn your work. Now for the rest of your brim, you're simply going to repeat that row two, working in the back loop only slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. You're going to continue working that row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 or 17 inches uh, when you lay it flat. So not when it's stretched, but just when you lay it flat and uh, again you're welcome to change the length or size and in our next round i'll tell you the stitch multiples that you'll need once you've worked your brim to 16 or 17 inches or the desired length it should look like this have quite a bit of stretch to it what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over so that the two short ends meet chain one and we're now going to seam it together 
To seam it together, we're going to use a slip stitch join and it's going to be worked in the back loop only of each piece. So under uh, the first side, insert your hook in the back loop only over to the other side in the corresponding stitch and just simply slip stitch. You're going to do that all the way across. Make sure that you don't skip any stitches and that it's lined up so you get a nice smooth seam. And again, at the end of this row, you should have a total of nine slip stitches. When you come to the end, chain one, turn your brim so that it is right side out. Seam is over here. And you're now ready to begin the body of the hat. We're going to be working around this unfinished edge now. And we're going to work a foundation round of single crochet stitches. We're going to start by working 72 single crochet stitches evenly all the way around. So if it helps, place a stitch marker about halfway around. You can work half your stitches on one side, half your stitches on the other, but you want them spread out fairly evenly. If you are changing the size of your hat, making it smaller or larger, you're going to need a stitch multiple of two. So you can change it as long as you have a multiple of two stitches. Go ahead and single crochet 72 uh, single crochet stitches all the way around. When you come to the beginning, you can join with a slip stitch in your first stitch and uh, chain one. At the end of round one, you've joined with a slip stitch and chained one. We're now going to, for round two, work one half double crochet into your first stitch and half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of this round, when you come back to the beginning, join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round three, we're going to work a half double crochet stitch into the third loop of each stitch around. Now to find your third loop, if you take a look at your work, I'm just going to take my hook out here. If you look at the top of your stitch, you see this nice little V stitch and you have your front loop, which is the loop that is closest to you. You have a back loop of your half double crochet, which is the loop that's furthest away from you. And then if you pull your work forward, you will see another horizontal bar underneath the top one. And this appears in your half double crochet stitch. That horizontal bar right here, that is at the back of your work, that is sometimes referred to as the third loop. So for this round three, we're going to work a half double crochet stitch, but in the third loop. So pull your work forward, insert your hook under that second horizontal bar, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. You're going to do that all the way around, always working in the third loop. And what's going to happen if you take a look at the front of your work is it's pushing the top of the stitches forward and giving you uh, almost a stitch that looks like something that's been knit. So I'll work a few more stitches here so that you can see the effect coming. You're just going to half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around and you can see it coming. When you come to the first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round three, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And this time uh, we're going to chain one 
And for round four, we're going to continue working in the third loops of our stitch, but this time working double crochet stitches. So working in the third loop, double crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. At the end of round four, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. This is what your hat should look like so far. For round five, we're going to chain one and we're now going to begin working a series or a round of front and back post double crochet stitches. For round five, you're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around your uh, first stitch. When I'm working around this first stitch, I'm working around the chain stitch as well as the stitch. I'm treating them as one. So to work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over, and you're working around the post of that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's a front post double crochet. Next, you're going to back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, Bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back around the post of that next stitch on the front and then out through the back again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next front post double crochet around the next stitch and back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Front post double crochet around the next stitch, back post double crochet around the next, all the way around your hat where you're going uh, to come back to the beginning and join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. For round six, you're going to chain one, begin by working a back post double crochet around that first stitch and front post double crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next stitch and front post double crochet around the post of the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, back post double crochet around the next stitch, followed by a front post double crochet around the next, and then join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. For round seven, you're going to chain one. Your round seven is worked exactly as your round four, uh, five was worked. You're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around that first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, front post double crochet around the next stitch back post double crochet around the next and when you come back to your first stitch join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch at the end of round seven join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one for round eight, you're going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch 
into the top of your first half double crochet. For round nine, chain one, and working once again in our third loop only, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So half double crochet, working in the third loop only, it's going to push the top of uh, your stitches forward. Now when you take a look at your hat, you're going to see all of this beautiful texture coming through. So half double crochet in the third loop, all the way around and then join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and chain one. Now that brings us to the end of the uh, beginning rows of our rounds of our beanie from here on we're going to repeat so you're going to work six more rounds repeating rounds four through to nine so your round four was where you worked a double crochet in the third loop and in each uh, of each stitch all the way around you're going to start there and you're going to repeat all of the steps all the way to the round that we just worked. At that point, you're ready to begin the decrease rounds of your hat and uh, you can meet me back here. When you come to the end of your round 15, this is what your hat is going to look like all the way up here uh, to the top end of round 15, which was a repeat of round nine. So we're now ready to start our decrease rounds. What you're going to do for uh, round 16 is chain one. We're going to be working in that third loop and you're going to half double crochet into each of the next six st stitches. So half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. and then half double crochet two together over the next two stitches. To work your half double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook into the third loop of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, insert your hook into the third loop of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. You're now going to repeat that work one half double crochet uh, in the third loop of each of the next six stitches and then working the third loop half double crochet two stitches together repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch For round 17, chain one, we're going to be working just in the tops of our stitches now. You're going to half double crochet in each of the next five stitches, beginning with the same stitch as joining. And then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat it all the way around when you come back to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 18, 
you're going to work one half double crochet stitch in each of the next four stitches. Followed by a half double crochet, two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come all the way back to the start, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. For round 19, half chain one, half double crochet in the next three stitches. You've probably guessed it by now and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around half double crochet in each of the next three stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come back to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 20, chain one, work one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch and chain one. For round 21, you've chained one. You're going to half double crochet into your first stitch and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that around, half double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a half double crochet, two stitches together. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 22, this is the final of your decrease rounds. You're going to simply half double crochet two stitches together all the way around. When you come to that first stitch, you're going to fasten off uh, leaving a long tail. And I'm just going to keep working here and show you what I mean uh, when I reach that point. So just continue uh, working a half double crochet, two stitches together all the way around. one stitch left and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and then leave a good size tail. You're then going to use that tail to sew the top of your hat closed. So taking your yarn needle, thread the yarn onto it and to sew the top of the hat closed, I like to turn my beanie inside out. And then you're simply going to weave the thread through the tops of the stitches in the round that you just worked. So just weave your needle and thread in and out all the way around till you'll come back to the beginning. When you come back to the beginning, all you have to do is pull closed. I like to seal it with a little bit of a knot before you go ahead and weave in your ends.
once you've woven in your ends you can go ahead and trim it off and as mentioned at the beginning of this video this hat looks great either as it is without a pom-pom or you can make one and attach it to the top. If you're making a yarn one, just leave two long tails and when you attach it to the top, attach it with a bow so that way it's easy to detach should you need to throw your hat in the wash. So that's all there is uh, to making this Canyon beanie. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look at the other hat crochet patterns that are on there, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.